Welcome to the city of Akko in northern Israel. Now this is a very historic town. It's got a connection to the Crusades that happened in the 12th and 13th centuries and it is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So yeah, let's go have a look around and see what Akko has got to offer. Alright, let's start by walking the streets of Akko a little bit. I am in the medieval core here and I can see some markets. Here we have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. Let's head into this market right here. More fruits and vegetables. Oh, and over there we seem to have handbags and perfume. This seems to be the clothes section of the market. Wow, this is quite a big market. I got here literally 20 minutes ago, so I haven't walked these streets yet, and I haven't seen this part yet. Very interesting. Look at all the spices. This is the Middle East right here. Market streets everywhere. Nuts. Here you can buy shishas. Some more clothes. Backpacks. Handbags. The usual stuff. This is your traditional Middle Eastern market here. And to be honest, I don't know much about this city. I just wanted to come here and experience a place that's a bit less crowded and less hectic than uh, Jerusalem. Because here it's way more quiet, way more chilled out. So yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting some food here because I'm hungry. And I'm pretty sure they will make good shawarmas here. All right, I got myself some falafel here. This looks pretty tasty. Let's try. Here's the falafel. Let's try. Delicious. That was a pretty decent falafel sandwich and it was 17 shekel, which is about 4 euros. So yeah, pretty cheap for Israeli standards. And yeah, now let's go explore a little bit. This city has a very diverse heritage. It was under the rule of the Crusaders and after that also the Ottoman Empire and it's also one of Israel's mixed cities so it's got a large Jewish population but also a very large Arab Muslim population and I can hear a lot of Arabic in the city so yeah I think that there are actually more Arabs at least in the old city than Jewish people because I don't hear that much Hebrew spoken all right now I'm looking for the Knights Hall which is the Crusader fortress and yeah here you have all the touristy restaurants where the groups go and they offer business lunch for 40 shekels, which isn't too bad actually for Israeli standards. And yeah, you can see all these fortress walls. I mean, this city is very pretty actually. But you can see here the old town of Akko is just one big fortress. We got the walls over there and then inside we got all the markets and there's actually a big mosque over there. I think that I'll go check out the mosque first before visiting the Crusader Citadel. All right, we are now in the courtyard of the Al Jazar Mosque, which was built in the 18th century, and apparently it has views onto the Mediterranean Sea. So let's see what the inside looks like. Right, that was the Al Jazar Mosque and now I'm gonna head to the Citadel which is home to the Knights Hall apparently one of the best preserved structures from the Crusader times we are now in the courtyard of Akko Citadel here and this is a massive fortress built by the Crusaders so they came from Europe to take back Jerusalem by force from the Muslims and that was sort of a holy war back then and also the Pope encouraged Crusaders to fight against the Muslims in the Holy Land which is today of course Israel and Palestine 
And yeah, this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest fortress that you can still see today from those times. And the city of Akko right here was actually the last major town that the Crusaders held. So they lost it in 1291 and then it became Muslim once again. So this fortress right here was originally built during the 12th and 13th centuries by a group called the Knights of the Hospital. And that was obviously during the Crusades and it was then destroyed and rebuilt by the Ottomans in the 17th and 18th centuries and they actually added a prison to the fortress which I'm about to see. This right here is the former dungeon so it only has one entrance over there and then here apparently they had cells or whatever location to interrogate and torture people. Now walking through some narrow passageways here, wow, there's a huge hall and this might actually be the main hall of the citadel here. This right here is the Knights Hall, which is the main room inside the Citadel and it was probably the dining room of the Order of the Hospital who were running this place during the Crusades. And yeah, it is pretty impressive. It is 10 meters high and you have all these light shows playing now. So yeah, definitely a medieval treasure. The next room here is the refectory, which is just as impressive as the Knights Hall. I mean, yeah, this is a proper medieval Crusader fortress here walking through some very narrow alleyways here within the medieval fortress structure. I mean, yeah, this is pretty cool. You feel like 700 or 800 years ago. This is the corridor where I just came from. And then here we have some images depicting the Crusades. And yeah, I didn't really expect anything coming here to Akko, but this fortress is super impressive. Here we have some more artwork depicting several trades around the citadel here. And yeah, this order was actually called the Order of the Hospital because they were treating the sick and wounded. Right, that was the citadel here in Akko. Very impressive. And now we're gonna see some more places. And the interesting thing about this city is that it has such a diverse heritage and the Ottoman Empire also ruled this area for various centuries. And so now we're gonna see the Turkish bathhouse. Here it is, the Turkish bathhouse. Let's go in. All right, we are now inside the Turkish bathhouse or hammam here. And this was built in the late 18th century when Akko was part of the Ottoman Empire and ruled by a man called Cezar Pasha. And they have all these movies playing here and exhibitions showing how it was back in the day, which is pretty cool and very interactive. Here we have one of the lounge areas of the hammam. So the rulers, they would take a bath and after that they would chill here and smoke a water pipe. That is how the Ottomans rolled. This is the main part of the bathroom where the typical hammam rituals were performed and you can see there the movie playing and they just make a bit of a joke out of it. But yeah, they were scrubbing people's backs with different types of products and eucalyptus and that was very healthy. And if you've ever been to a bathhouse in Turkey, they still do it like this today. Right, we are now walking back into the medieval maze of streets here and apparently there is also a synagogue somewhere around here and I do want to see that as well because we've seen a mosque, a crusader fortress and a synagogue would make a nice contrast as well. We are back in the bazaar streets here. You got some shoes, clothes and everything you could ever need. And over there we got the Brazilian national football team. So where's the synagogue? I think it is somewhere around here. But this is a really cool little medieval town. All right, we have to go right. So the synagogue should be somewhere around here on the right. But look at these little courtyards here. This is really cool. This reminds me a bit of Famagusta in Cyprus. You have all the medieval houses and then people drying their laundry and of course the air conditioning units. So where's the synagogue? We are inside the synagogue now and here you can see the seats where people are sitting and then we got some religious books here and yeah it is fairly small but there is also a heritage center nearby and I forgot the name of the synagogue but yeah it is located right in the heart of Akko. 
Let's go check out the heritage center as well. I am inside the visitor center of the synagogue now, and yeah, here they explain the Jewish history of Akko, and the Jews were actually here in the 13th century when the Crusades happened. And now, of course, this city is part of Israel, but before that it was Muslim and it was Christian. So yeah, this city has a very diverse heritage, and the history is very fascinating because it changed hands quite often. Now walking some more through the medieval streets of old Akko, and yeah, this is a really cool little city here because you got all these attractions just tucked away behind those walls and then you can get lost in the maze of little streets here. Definitely worth visiting, Akko. And now I want to get to the sea. So I have no idea where I am, but at some point I will get out of this maze of streets here and then I want to get to the Mediterranean shoreline. And here we have three little cats. There are quite a few cats in this city actually, but how do I get to the sea? Wow, here we have a basketball court within the walls of the old city. Pretty cool. Now, where is the coastline? All right, we are at the Mediterranean coast of Akko now. Wow, we got terraces everywhere and then a lighthouse over there and a little boat in the background. So yeah, guys, this is Akko right here, a lovely medieval town on the northern coast of Israel. And yeah, I wouldn't spend two days here because it is very small, but for one day it is perfect. And yeah, now I'm going to show you my hotel before calling it a day. All right, quick room tour here in Akko, Israel. This is the place where I'm staying. And as you can see, it's not too bad. It's got a nice double bed, a TV and even a Nespresso machine. Even though I haven't found any capsules yet, I guess I'll have to ask the owner and then here we got a little closet area and I'll show you the bathroom as well. Here it is, nothing fancy but pretty comfortable. And yeah, this room cost me 91 euros per night. And that is not cheap by any means, but we are in Israel and this place is located right in the heart of the old city. And it also has a pretty nice rooftop terrace where you can enjoy the view of the Mediterranean Sea.